Welcome back to Good Morning Antigua Barbuda, 8.12 on our clock. Thank you so much for waking up with us. And if you've just joined us, thank you for joining us because you're going to find out about a new entertainment show that's going to be coming up this week. And it's called The Search Antigua Show. And of course, whenever you hear about Search Antigua, you know we're talking about Ken Shipley. Good morning to you, Ken. Good morning, Jamila. Good to see you. See you again after such a long well, while. Well, Gil Gilbert, um, bust the bag this morning. Yes, if you're back in Antigua, if you couldn't say you're back in Antigua and all that good stuff. I didn't even I know, know you left. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't, see, we don't see each other very often unless you come here. I've been out um, in and out of the country quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Actually, right now my body feels like in, it's in it's a perpetual jet -lag. state of <laughs> jet lag. So... I'm just happy to be back on Allen right now. All right. Well, how are things going at Search Antigua, by the way, before uh, we get into the entertainment show? Uh, things are going powerfully well. Um, to be honest, we have started a couple of new ventures. Mm -hmm. um, so everybody knows us for website design, right. and internet marketing, and so forth. But we have also been um, slowly going into the mobile applications um, market. So quite shortly, we'll actually have our iPhone app out. So All right. know, things are going great. Fabulous. Yes. And anything else you'd like to mention? Um, for now, I'm going to keep a lid on everything else that we're doing. So just look out for the iPhone application, which is coming out soon. But again, this morning we're here to talk about something we're here different. To talk so about something I don't want to bring different. too much of what Search and TV is doing. Uh, you know, we just want to focus. Indeed, and of course, it's a really exciting thing. Um, you're telling me we're comparing it to Access Hollywood. It's an entertainment show, a 10-minute ent entertainment show. Yes. Of course, uh, the host is our girl, Shalana George. So tell me, why did you decide to do an entertainment show? Well, you know, there's always this question that everybody has, you know, throughout the week. Hey, what's going on on the weekend? And of course, you know, everybody's like, well, I heard about so-and-so. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you go on Facebook and you find a couple of events here. You go on a different website, you find a couple of different, you know, events there. So we decided, hey, let's put together a show that basically brings all of the major events that are happening in Antigua and Barbuda every week and just put them out in the public in one nice wholesome format that mm -hmm. they can you know, easily digest. And you couldn't have gotten a better person to do it than Shalana George. Vib we're talking about vibrancy. The word of the day today was debonair, oh. and she definitely fits that as well. Very perfect person for that. So how did you decide to choose uh, Shalana anyway? Well, um, you know, when we first had the idea for the show, we were coming up with a couple of ideas in terms of who can we bring on to really, really get the information out in a friendly manner that seems more personable, you know? Yes. Because you have to find the right host just to really get it out there to the people. Yes. And we tried a couple of options, but then, you know, our mind zoned in on Shalana. We mm -hmm. said, you know what? Perfect. We don't have to think about it anymore. We're going to bring her in. She did it. And yeah, it she's was a young and vibrant. Match made in heaven. I like match that. Made in heaven. Well, definitely, because you need to have people that you can work with. Oh. Right, Tell you need to it. have talent that you can work with. Mm. And speaking about talent, uh, before we get into the um, any any more nitty gritty, the team working behind this entertainment show project. Mm -hmm. It's ten minutes, but ten minutes in TV, ten minutes to <laughs> fill something in TV. It's very challenging, you know, because we all know that TV. Well, you and I know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the viewers know that TV is not an easy medium to get, you know, content for and time to fill and that sort of thing. But you have a team. Uh, who's working with you to help to make this a reality. Would you care to just pick them up this morning? Sure. Um, well, as everyone knows, whenever I'm doing um, any particular project, it's always done professionally, and it's never a one-man situation. So I always want to make sure that I have competent people working with me. Mm -hmm. And on this particular project, we actually have two companies working on the project. Mm -hmm. The first one is with that TV. They've been doing some amazing video production in the last six months. With that TV? With that TV. All right. um, you can go on Facebook and find them. They have all of their information there, so you can go and watch some of the videos that they've done before. Mm -hmm. um, when I know these guys personally as well, so you know, when I spoke to them about the project, they were very, very excited. Mm -hmm. And knowing the kind of people that they were, they were very dedicated as well. Yes. So when I brought them on board, I was very, very happy to see the quality of work we were able to put out. Um, another company that was working on the project was with me as well was um, Immaculate Architecture, and this is a company that Cecilia Twitch is a part of. All right. So of course, you know, Cecilia. Morning, Cecilia. Mm -hmm. Cecilia <laughs> being the PRO for Carnival right. and, you know, a few other things. Um, she brought some fantastic direction in mm -hmm. terms of the show. She also has previous experience in terms of directing the Warren Cassell show. And right. You know, a couple of other things in the entertainment medium. So when she came on board, you know, again, another match made in yes, heaven. I don't yes. know how many matches made in heaven <laughs> on that set, but everybody worked together yes. very very fluidly and i really like the team dynamic that we have well yeah you have to have matches made in heaven when it comes to tv or else you're not you're not going to get your show off the ground Trust so me. uh big ups to cecilia big ups to wadad tv and big ups to our girl shalana you know we're going to make that they're going to make that show a really really great one i'm seeing it on, uh, i'm seeing it on the screen now the search antigua show uh thursdays and fridays yeah. at 6:55 p.m are you going to tell us where we can where we can see that 
Yeah, um, you can. Of course, it's gonna be on ABS, right? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna um, we air it on ABS um, after we air it on CTV, mm -hmm. which is this Thursday at six fifty-five. It will also be um, we're gonna carry it on Facebook as well, and also on our website because you know these days anything that you're doing in the media, you can put it on the internet. And of course, we have a lot of fans on our Facebook page and a lot of people that visit our website every single day. Mm -hmm. So of course, adding this content to the website now is just gonna make it even much more. As the French say, super. Yeah. What, what, what is it? Super. The French say super. Yeah. <laughs> indeed, indeed. <laughs> well, you're into the web, the web industry, and those of us who are into information and, and communication as well, we don't underestimate the power of Facebook. No. There are so many potential clients out there. So if you're a marketer, make sure that you tap into that medium. And you've done that, Ken. So you know, we, we, you know, yes. you know, your show is going to go done it extensively. Exactly. And not only that, too. Um, what you're doing is also um, great for tourism. We were talking about that off camera and how this could contribute to the tourism industry. Let's talk about it on camera now. Okay, well, as you know, this show, once it's distributed on the mm -hmm. internet, it means that anybody anywhere in the world has access to it. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, a lot of people are making their plans now for the winter season coming up, you know, in terms of where to go. Yeah. And, you know, they like to go places where there's a lot of entertainment, there's a lot of things to do, they don't want to go to someplace boring. And of course, Antigua being the hub of the Caribbean, we yes, have indeed. a lot of activities going on right now, mm -hmm. um, especially for the upcoming carnival season. I mean, it's almost overloaded in terms of how much information we're going to be putting out there. So that when people actually watch the show, they're going to know what to do on Friday, right. what to do on Saturday, what to do on Sunday, and hopefully they'll make it to work on Monday morning. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> but you seem like you're... <laughs> you seem like, I'm not going to say it. Never mind. <laughs> All right, but let's talk a little bit about the challenges that we mentioned. Uh, TV is a is a, a very f um, you know mm. funny medium to work with. Uh, yeah. Let's let's talk a little bit about your challenges. I'm not sure if you've had any at all, but let's talk let's talk about putting a show like this together. Well, definitely putting a show like this is um, is not very easy. But one thing that has helped helped us a lot is the technology that we've been using in terms of putting together this show. Uh, Ten years ago, we couldn't do something like this because the technology just wasn't there. It would have cost probably a quarter million dollars just to get this show off the ground exactly. and you know even just with some of the you know camera technology that we're using there's so much more packed into a little camera as opposed to five years ago you know a camera ten times the size wouldn't have you know quite of the technology so that has been helping us a lot and um, again the dedicated team you know that I have working with me you know I can't give enough um, shout outs and big up to um, you know, especially Nigel mm -hmm. and Gavayo working on the show. Mm -hmm. You know, currently as we speak, they're probably doing some edits <laughs> and stuff like that because that's the type of people they are. They're very hardworking and dedicated. And again, with a team like that, you do run into issues, but they resolve pretty pretty quickly. All right, and, the, and this is Nigel Stockland, would it be? This is Nigel Gordon. Nigel Gordon. I, I'm sorry, and Nigel. <laughs> and Alston Gavaya. Yes. Nigel Gordon and, and, and Alston Gavaya. <laughs> All right, um, you said you were doing some traveling. You told me off camera that you were doing some traveling. Um, and, and you actually showed um, a, tra a trailer of yes. the show? Yes, I was recently uh, in St. Kitts uh, just about a week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. I was invited down there um, as part of the CTO, ICT Roadshow. They go to um, all of the Caribbean islands mm -hmm. and basically um, educate the public about IT and you know, how it impacts them. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that they asked me to speak about when I was down there was content creation mm -hmm. because, you know, in the Caribbean, we have so much to offer. Yet still, when we go on YouTube and some of these other video sites, all we see are uh, foreign content. It's yeah. time for us to really start putting our localized content on there because we have so much to offer in terms of just the culture, the people, the landscape, mm -hmm. and just the little things that we do are very, very unique and indigenous. So yeah. we need to start putting them out on the internet a bit more. And mm -hmm. that's, again, one of the reasons why we created the show. And of course, while I was in St. Kitts, I told them you know, how we, s we go from planning the show to getting it um, up on the internet. Mm -hmm. And when I actually showed them the promo of the trailer and they saw the production quality of it, they were completely blown oh away. Oh, wow. Completely. So th they would love to um, probably get some of their content in as well. Um, are you going to look into that, start doing a little bit of what's going on in the caravan as well? Well, right now we're focused on Antigua. Mm -hmm. And you know, once we get that out the door and we're sailing with that one, then you know we can look out a little bit more. But right now we just kind of go focusing, focusing on Antigua. home a little bit. Indeed. And of course, um, the fact that we have um, tourists in our hotels and that sort of thing, you're, you're also going to um, probably put some cards out into their, into their hotel rooms to let them know they can watch this entertainment show, find out what's going on. If they want to leave their hotel rooms to go off to do you know, a little fetching here or a little party there. You know. yeah. One of the uh, companies that we're working with with this show is going to be the Tourism Authority. And of mm -hmm. course, they're going to help us syndicate this content through all of their partners and affiliates mm -hmm. and hopefully get the show in as many hotels, tour companies, wherever tourists are, yeah. we want that you show to reach be them. 
basically there. Indeed. So you've covered all your bases, and I want to wish you all the best with that. So um, any more in-depth information you'd like to, to talk a little bit more about the show? Uh, you, you spoke about the quality mm -hmm. of, of um, the visuals, of course, the audio and all that good stuff, the production quality, and of course, the host. Yes. It's so engaging. Uh, any um, computer graphics that you'd like to talk about? Let, let's talk a little bit more of the technicalities of the show. What, what have you put into it? Uh, well, we've put in a lot of thought and <laughs> energy into the show. So from the beginning to end, this show is jam-packed with entertainment. Um, from the background music that's always playing, we all, it's like a live DJ on the set playing, yeah. you know, music that you hear in the clubs and you hear, you know, when you go to different events. Mm -hmm. um, the stage, of course, is very, very beautiful. It's rendered in like um, a 3D setting mm -hmm. with, you know, lights and pictures playing. And as the host is talking about different events taking You'll place in the island, you see actual clips video bit, clips mm -hmm. or you see picture clips um, of what she's talking about. And of course, there's text at the bottom as well mm -hmm. that kind of helps you, you know, give you a little bit more information because not only is she talking, um, there's also visual aids in terms mm -hmm. of telling you what's going to be showing, what's going to be playing, what's coming up. So again, that just makes the show 100% more engaging mm -hmm. than just something just read off a piece of paper. Yeah, and, and, and um, also for those people who are fetching, they just might see themselves. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because, um, you know, of course, everybody posts, um, you know, pictures all over the internet and stuff right. like that. So we've, we've called on a couple of photographers, event photographers, actually that normally go to a lot of these events and take photos and we're going to be using some of their photography in the show itself so people can actually look out for the show to see if they're on it. All right, so who, so who are your photographers so I can make sure that I'm, I'm in the line of vision? I will not tell you, <laughs> but kidding, you I'm know, kidding. You, when you see yourself, you're like, oh, that was him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm, I can think of one right now, but I'm not going to call his <laughs> name. So, uh, so it's the Search Antigua Entertainment Show coming up this Thursday, the 30th, on CTV at 6.55 p.m. And also on, it's on Fridays as well, right? It's on so Fridays it's Thursdays well. and Fridays, 6.55 p.m. on CTV. And of course, it will be rebroadcast on ABS. The host is the lovely, engaging, vibrant, debonair Shalana George. Couldn't have found a better host. And uh, Ken, any, any final words? I want you to do the extras. Um, tell me any final words, anything else you'd like to say on behalf of Search Antigua. And uh, just take us out. Okay, well, basically, the Search Antigua show, it's um, the number one entertainment show in Antigua. It's rivaling uh, Access Hollywood. I had to put that in. Go Access ahead. Access Hollywood and Entertainment um, Weekly. Yes. <laughs> or Entertainment Tonight. Um, so it's a 10 minute show packed with information about what's going on every weekend in Antigua and Barbuda. It's going to live um, air on CTV um, Thursday, the 30th of Ju June mm -hmm. at 6.55 p.m. To get more information about the show, you can just simply log on to our website, which is www.searchantigua.com, and we'll have all the information there about the show, and you can comment and send us feedback about it and stuff. So we're really, really excited to push this out. And of course, we can't forget our Facebook fans. So we're going to be dropping the show on our Facebook page as well. So look out for that. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ken Shipley, for dropping by. All the best with the show. And good morning to you, Shalana. Good morning to you, Cecilia, and all the great folks working on the Search Antigua show. It's 825. Good morning, Antigua Barbuda. We'll be right back. Yay. Very good. <laughs>